Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Two new stories. It seems that a claim made by Fano fighters has been exposed. It seems uh, last month, Fano fighters claimed to have killed a top officer of Ethiopian military. Military did not officially respond to the claim, but a few hours ago, Ethiopian state media. Uh, aired a report from Oromia. Uh, I have details for you in this video. Secondly, uh, Bahirdar, where Muslim community protested today. What happened? Some Muslims were killed in Bahirdar uh, yesterday. Reported. Let's start from uh, the Mahara region, both stories from the Mahara region. Last month, Fano fighters claimed to have killed a senior officer of Ethiopian military. The claim came after a military killed a top Fano commander. Wubante uh, Abate was killed in South Gondar. He was head of South Gondar Fano. Guna Brigade of Fano. And uh, his death was confirmed by Fano groups to his family confirmed, military claimed as well. So there was no doubt about the death of Ubante Abate. After Ubante Abate's death, all Fano groups announced to launch uh, Zamicha Operation Ubante. Operation launched to take revenge for Ubante Abate's death. And since then, we've been seeing very tall claims by Fano fighters that they have killed this general, that general, this colonel, that colonel. Uh, and some uh, deaths are being officially claimed by them. Marshat Sihai's Gojam Fano spokesperson. Last uh, month, he claimed uh, while giving interview to a YouTube channel that Fano fighters had killed an officer of Ethiopian military. Gadisa Dero is the name of the officer. And Fano fighters claimed that he was a general, major general. Some said he was a brigadier general of the Ethiopian military. Marsha Sihai claimed that uh, Gadisa Dero had been killed in. Digadimot, which is in Gojam. Uh, since it was an official claim, formal claim by Fano fighters through a spokesperson, I did videos on that. Uh, but we kept on waiting for the statement of other side. Military remained silent. Military remains silent mostly whenever Fano fighters make claims about deaths of top officers. But uh, then indirectly, those officers are shown to embarrass Fano fighters to show that Fano's claims are false. The claim was made last uh, month. It was around 20th of March when Fano fighters made this claim. Last night, an Ethiopian state a television channel showed a documentary, a report. Uh, which is about operation by military against the Oromo Liberation Army. Military is conducting operations against Olatu, though main military operation is being conducted against Amhara Fano fighters. The report aired on Fana TV showed two officers of the Ethiopian military and some uh, uh, Ola fighters were shown to allegedly Ola fighters were, were shown. One of these two officers is a colonel. His name is Colonel Gadisa Diru. Is he the same officer about which Fano claimed that Fano had killed that officer in the Maha region? Yes. He seems to be the same officer. He is a colonel. He is not a general. He is from the 6th Regiment of Ethiopian National Defense Force. And by the way, Gaddisa never 
he was never deployed to the Amhara region in the last few months. Since the start of this year, his regiment has been operating in Oromia, operating in Valaga, conducting operations against Ola members in Valaga. He never went to the Amhara region. Pano's claim was that the general, he called him a general, that general had been killed in Diga Demot, which is in Gojam. It means that Fano's claim was not true. Gadisa Dero is alive. He is a colonel. He is not uh, a major general. Uh, since Gojam Fano officially claimed last month that uh, the Fano had killed uh, Gadisa Dero, now Fano has a lot to explain. Or did they make a wrong claim? I think they were mistaken, but I believe they were mistaken because uh, such claims are exposed. If you claim that uh, Ifano fighters claim that they have killed a top officer military, officer will appear, claim will be exposed. So I don't think they deliberately made this wrong claim. They were mistaken, uh, but that just shows that they don't know what they are doing. Maybe they were excited uh, to take revenge when uh, they carried out an attack and then they got wrong information from the ground and they made this claim. Gadesa Dero is alive. Military very tactfully addresses Fano's claims. It does not what it, it is not it does not directly address Fano's claims, but indirectly it always addresses Fano's claims. Uh, by the way, Fano claimed to have injured another general of his military. Varkane is his name, and Fano claimed he had been injured in Gondar, I think. Again, the claim could not be verified. Fano claimed that uh, the military, several military colonels had been killed. Again, the claims remain unverified. I think these Fano spokespersons need to be very careful because now whatever they'll be they'll say they'll be taken with a pinch of salt because the claim about Gadis Adero has been exposed. Will they correct this claim? That remains to be seen, but they should make a correction, I think. Otherwise, the other claims will also uh, uh, People won't believe their other claims as well. Secondly, there was the Bahirda regional capital of the Amhara region. Muslim community protested in Bahirdar in Kabale 14 today. What happened? Well, uh, in Kabale 14, some Muslims were killed yesterday. Uh, a man with his two kids two sons rather, with his two sons and a neighbor were killed. They were coming out of a mosque when people opened fire on them. They died. Four or five died yesterday. Muslim community is angry. That is why a protest was organized in Bahidar. Pano uh, sources are accusing the government that government uh, wants to create religious tensions in Bahirdar. Government so far has not uh, said anything about the identity of the killers, uh, who is behind this attack. Uh, a personal dispute, some armed gang or some other gangs, no one clearly knows. Muslim community is angry. Tomorrow could be Eid celebration in Bahidar. We could see more protests by Muslim community in Bahidar. Thank you for watching.